Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make joy for an inside out cake. Um, I'm gonna have this template on our website. You can click up here on this template here button and you can download the template. So we're gonna make her face. You can make as big as you want um, for your cake. So we're gonna start with the skin color and you're gonna print the template, cut all the pieces that you're gonna see here so it's gonna be very easy to follow. With the face template we're gonna cut around with a exacto knife or a knife or anything that you have in handy. Um, so we're gonna, and that part is the face template as I think I just said it. And now we're gonna place right there. You see then I have the picture always next to me so I know where it's gonna um you know fit everything you can make with the template um anything with dough you can make a fake cake a cake this actually it's, it's not a cake but you can make it a cake it's just because i was making so many cakes to make the videos then we kind of don't we cannot eat more cakes <laughs> so we i'm using just a, a base template um to you know to pretend it's a cake but the rest is everything the same you're just gonna cut and you know, cover your, your cake with the white and then to the rest. With the template for the eyes, I'm gonna cut it out, um, make the cutouts. You can make the cutouts of the eyes before you make the face. Then I think it's easier. I didn't do it because since I'm making the first time, but when you cut around to make the face, you can also cut the eyes. So you don't need to go through the trouble or be worried about cutting the fondant on your cake. And now with the little bow, we have the template for the nose. We're going to put it just on the top and we're going to place on her face. Um, see, I have the bow. I'm just going to make the sides a little bit less pointy because she has kind of like a pointy triangle bow nose. <laughs> um, look at the picture. You know, you guys going to get it if you look at the picture of my triangle bow nose. So we're going to place right there. If you're not sure where exactly is the nose, you look at the picture. If you're not sure, you put the picture on the top of your cake and just make a mark. And now we're going to smooth all the edges with your finger. Um, if you're using clay or even if you use a fondant, you can use a little bit of water to get all those edges out. It's going to take a little time. I'm speeding up a little because my other two um cake videos are so long so but i'm not jumping any step it's just speeding up because you can see that i'm just using a little bit of water and smoothing all that because i don't want to look at the cake and think the nose was just glue on the top i want to be part of her face so that's what we're gonna do now and you just go um even if you're using clay or fondant the same step you can use if you're using um fondant you can use a little crisco too but I think water works fine for both of them. And now I'm just um, being sure that I'm happy. Now I'm going to mark the face, like the smile. So what I'm doing, I cut my template and I'm just marking the, is it actually the back of the paintbrush or makeup brush or something brush? <laughs> I'm just marking because I want to know where it's going to be. And now I can mark exactly because it's hard for you guys to see on the video, but I can see up close and now I'm just marking again because I can see the little marks I did it I can mark her smile right there um, I hope you guys are liking it. let me see if you guys want to uh, me to make sadness because I was between joy and sadness because I love her but I made joy and I have the video ready for Tinkerbell too so let me know which one you guys want to see first so now I'm just making a little snake with the blue and I'm gonna place right there because this Cake for Joy, I'm not going to have the painting um, part like I do for Elsa because Joy, you can make all the details just with the template. So you don't need to go through the trouble to paint anything. Tinkerbell, I'm going to have both for you guys if you want to paint or if you just want to use the template. So I'm just, I am made a little snake with the blue and I'm placing on the side, uh, outside of the eyes. You see the picture right there? So you see what the blue are? So it's just to give that detail of the blue. So I'm making the same thing to the other side. And I'm just eyeballing how big it is. I just want the detail for the blue right there. It's a very easy cake. And when you're making 2D like that, and you can make as big as you want, as thick as you want. Be careful when you're making cakes with the faces like Elsa, Anna, Tinkerbell. If you make it, your a cake too thick, it looks like they're fat. <laughs> it looks like because it makes the, the head 
be out of shape. So be careful. If you want to make a cake for a lot of people, just make a large, not too tall, if that makes sense. So now uh, with the template, the eyes, I'm just cutting the white part and we're gonna place right there in the center. You can make like this, cutting the template, or you can make a ball and just squish there and cover all that hole right there. And you also, if you're using um, edible, you can use uh, clear sugar if you know how to do with that. And if you also want it, if you're using clay, you can use acrylic, you know, liquid and it be, be very clear. But I think for the trouble, you know, white works just fine. I'm just cutting the excess off a little because when you cut sometimes it's a little thick or a little less than so i just cut the excess since i have the uh, white open i'm just gonna use the template for her teeth and that's what i'm cutting out right there and i'm just gonna set aside since i already have a piece of the white right there we just you know cut the steps <laughs> and now i'm just gonna mark the middle of her teeth because she has a couple indentations just you um, look like it's not just a strap like a strip of white it's just teeth but it's not that much so uh, that's what I'm making I promise I will go show you guys close right there just to give a little detail and we can set that aside um, if you guys are not liking that I'm speeding up I'm not jumping any step I'm just speeding up let me know I just don't want to make you guys to watch like an hour videos or like part one, part two. I know that's that's a pain sometimes. You know, you need to look for one and part two. So let me know if it's okay what I'm speeding up because I'm not cutting anything. So now I'm making the blue part of the eyes and that one eyebrow that you can see because that other one, the hair covers. So you don't need to even bother to make it. So I have the, uh, the eyebrows and the eyes and we're going to place them. I love cakes that look really cool and they're very easy to make. This is basic. You guys can make it um, super easy if you decide to make a party and just make pretty. You know, you can find fondant on any um, craft store, Michael's, Joann's on, um, on the website if you have time to order. So I'm just playing the blue. And with any tool, if you don't have this tool, anything flat, a tool pick, I'm just making lines to the outside corner to the inside. Just because when you look at the picture, when you have the picture in your hands, you're going to see then she has lines. Like the eyes are not flat black or flat blue or flat green. So it has some lines, some dictations. That's what I just wanted to do just for the sake of being cute um, and to show you guys a little bit more details. So that's what I'm making. It's hard to see on the camera. Next time I'm going to try to put the camera a little bit closer. I just want you guys to see everything, but some details like this you can see but I'm just marking your lines and I'm just um, placing now the eyebrows right there and also guys let me know uh, I'm just making a little time ball to put there for the uh, light reflection if you guys want to start seeing Halloween things because I'm gonna have a Halloween party for my son's birthday and I'm doing all the things like trophies for custom part for the customs you know and everything if you guys want I can start videotaping everything you guys have a party to or decoration for your house so I made a little strip of white and I'm just gonna smoosh it down together and pull the edges just to mix a little bit of the blue um, just to give a little not just that fly I don't want it to be too even or too straight I just want it to look like it's part of the blue you can also paint that as well if you want to paint everything you can paint the blue part and the white part and make all super detailed like the picture but I wanted to show a easy cake for once <laughs> and now I'm making the other snake the white and I'm gonna place on the top if your fondant or clay or anything is not sticking just use a little bit of water or glue or egg whites or if you having trouble with egg whites because some people don't like to you know, touch eggs and everything. You can get tyloids or a little bit of fondant and gum paste and just leave in the water, a little bit of water overnight and you're gonna make your glue. If you guys wanna see that, like a whole video, just let me know. And now I'm making the same thing to the other side. Please um, give me a thumbs up on this video if you're having fun, if you like it. And let me know if you want any other cake from Inside Out because they are all cute. Um, so I, like having itches to make sadness <laughs> so if somebody says no do it make it make it i would be so happy 
Um, so now I'm just making the flat part of the black. I'm making a bow and just measuring on the top of my template. I'm flattening out with my, my fingers and just measuring um, if it's the size I need and place in there. You can also open and cut with your exacto knife, but I thought that that way is easier, you know, make our life easier, better. So now I open all the blue and we're gonna cut all the templates for her hair. Um, you're gonna see all those pieces on the template, so don't worry about it. And now I'm just cutting them all like you seeing it. Um, and also, I'm sorry, last week I didn't have any video. I was really sick and I got all the kids sick, so it was like terrible. I had a, the videos uh, edited, but I didn't have a voiceover and I was with my voice was horrible. I think it's still a little, uh, but I, I needed to put this video up today. So I'm going to put extra videos this week, so wait for it. <laughs> so now I have all the pieces of the hair. Um, I just don't have the top top of the hair, but you guys are gonna see me cutting. So I'm gonna place right there. The first long piece is at that side of the face. You can also cover the sides of the cake if you want to. So you can you know place a little blue around, but um, if you leave white, you can write happy birthday or the name you know of the child or anything. So with that little long skinny part we're gonna place right there it's like put a, put, putting a puzzle together way easier than Elsa's hair than hair you know all those <laughs> loops and stuff this is kind of um, just placing the pieces together so we're gonna place right there I'm just making the point is very hairy to look cute <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna place right there you can mark all the hair before you place on the head but I like to do that there because I know where it's gonna be exactly and I know where you know the string of the hair goes like to the movement so that's what I'm gonna make it now I'm just gonna see I'm looking at the picture and then I know um, the direction then the hair are going so that's all I'm just gonna mark looks like you don't need to do it now but if both if you're using clay or fondant you can just buff it out a little white after so you give the effect that i'm gonna give after and you're gonna see so don't jump this you know the step just mark it's easy fast just it's no don't worry about it you know what where to go just look a little at the picture where the hair going just follow it you know just to have the effect because you're gonna see after i didn't cut that piece from my template because i I thought that I could use like that and you guys can use too. This is the base of the cake. The one that you're gonna cut your cake and you know put the white fondant on the top. And I'm just using the top to make the top part of the hair that's missing. Cause I thought that I, you know, to need to cut it. Laziness, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna cover that cut, cut measure right there and cut the excess since I don't have my template cut, but we can also do that too. So. Um, we're gonna place right over you can make some strings of the hair extra hair But this the hair is done right now It's just smooth it out right there because you don't want the edge, but you can place place a little um, You know going up and down because her hair is all crazy But you don't need to and now we're up to her smile. I'm gonna open a very thin um, layer of black see it's very thin because I don't want her mouth to be like too 3d ish if that makes sense i want just you know the detail there since i didn't cut a hole for the mouth i don't want too much dough or clay or fondant whatever you guys are working on on the top of her face so i'm using the template for the back or her mouth and now i'm gonna use with pink um a template for her lips um try to you feel and open the same thickness than you um the uh, the black you know so you don't have one too big and one too skinny and i'm using the zecto knife to cut it right there um i'm going crazy ideas for halloween so guys please let me know in the comment below if you're watching <laughs> let me know if you guys want to see anything halloweenish since i need to make them um, and now I'm gonna place right there what the mark because we had that mark for the smile So we know exactly where her smile is gonna be. We're gonna place the lips first And then we're gonna place the black uh, part the black parts like the 
you know the deep on your mouth it's like the the part that you don't see it but you make black so give the impression then she has her smile and her mouth open I'm putting a little bit of water because um, it was getting a little dry um, you want to be sure then sticks in there and now I'm going to place the black part the black part you're gonna see when you cut the template and go the go over to the sides of the pink but you want to because you want her to look like she's really smiling open so the edge you see those two sides goes over the pink it's okay and now we're gonna place that part and we cut for her teeth and just be sure then it's all together you know we want to close down so the black touch the white and touch the pink yeah the black yeah <laughs> so you make um a smile don't let any gap or a hole right there and use a finger to smooth everything if you have any marks or any imperfection you can even use a little water if you're having some trouble if you have any mark but we are almost done she's very cute and very easy to make um, just making sure that everything and now since I'm not making a cake as I told you I'm using um, as like chalk that I'm gonna write down below in the comment box what that because I don't remember but it's that painting chalk um, color thing then you can get a box of a bunch of colors and I'm just using purple to pretend to make her tongue if you're making an edible one you can just use um, liquid color or any uh, edible paint or edible pen, edible um, anything, then you just can make that. And I, it's just the same purple. I'm just placing a little on, around on the pink to give some dimension to her lips. How I can remember the name of that? I'm getting old. Jeez. <laughs> and now that I said, and you wanted to make the marks on the, her um, hair, is because of the white, you're gonna go with the fingers. If he, uh, I'm using that, then I don't, still don't remember the name, but I will put it down below. Um, and now you can see all the marks we did it. If you are using edible um, paint, just get a paintbrush, you dip in your edible paint, dry in a toilet, um, in a paper towel to get the excess off, you know, the dry painting, and then you just put it there because you just want a little bit of white. You don't want to paint white, but you want the dimension of the hair to appear, to pop out that's what I'm doing right now and if you guys want to see a video on how to do that with edibles or no edibles that you do dimension more more in depth and you know and just let me know I can do that too sometimes I need a need little ideas for videos and that's it guys I hope you like it let me know if you want to see any other toy or a side out cake and thank you so much for watching I will talk to you guys soon bye